Stacy Burke here. Look at my crackers. I just got home from work and yeah, sweats is a thing to go and another storm is coming and this is how I roll. I am exhausted, but what's new? But I had to stop by my mail centre and I'm going to show you what's in the box. Can someone please tell me what's in the box? I'll tell you what's in the box, because I bought it. After denying myself and being frugal, I'm kind of going through this phase of like, whatever. I'm buying concert tickets. Like I'm going to go see Peter Frampton right after work. And like, not today, but I'm scheduled to go see Peter Frampton at the Greek. And I get off work and I'm going to literally close up shop drive straight to the Greek, do the shuttle, because I do the shuttle, I love the shuttle, go to a Peter Frampton concert, drive all the way home, because it's far away, and then wake up at 4.30 in the morning and go right back to work. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. But even when people buy me things and I show you what they, they give you, Give me and um, send me because it's fun for me, fun for you, and it shows you what they give me, and it's a shout out for them and everything. But I'm gonna try. In fact, I've got to go back um, my last order from Amazon and show you what I bought because I don't know. I kind of like the things that I get, and I kind of want to share with you, even though I'm affiliate. I make very little money, like I haven't got paid yet, but it's okay. It's like very little, but like everyone's been asking me like, where do you get it? So now I'm doing the links. So everything you're going to see here, everything I try to get on Amazon, my favorites and everything, I try to put on stacyshamper.com. That way you don't have to be searching. It's a one-stop shop. If you see something featured, it'll be on stacyshamper.com. Not just from Amazon. It can be from Avon. It could be from another store. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try to get on top of that. So you just go to stacyshamper.com and it just shows you what I like and the links to where to get it. Why not? One of the things I did get, but I already put the box and I, I threw them in a little container. These are called nail clips and they're made too, if you do, you know, like when you glue on your nails to, to hold them down, they're good for that. Also, I guess if you do gel or, or if you do all these weird other nail stuff you do, but I do the glue on nails, they're just nail clips. You can put them on like that. You can put them on the, they, they're not invasive. There's no teeth on them. But what I, besides using for this when I glue my nails down, what I do at night, I always, if you see me wearing one, because I forgot to take it off, because I go to bed with it on. And when I have allergies, I used to do um, hair clips and I got scars from it because they will make me bleed because they have teeth on them. This is not invasive. I usually, <laughs> it's going to be ugly, but it, usually when you have allergies, um, I do the breathe rights too, not the no sleep rights, not the breathe rights, sleep rights. In fact, that's what I gotta put on Stacy's hamper. I gotta remind myself to put that on tonight. The sleep rights are so amazing. In fact, I'm gonna put that on Stacy's hamper tonight. I'm gonna do that. Because they are and then I dipped it um the sleep rights in Vicks Vapor Rub as lube and I put it in my nose and what it does it opens up the passageways. So amazing. You should try to be of allergies or be have a hard time sleeping or breathing. Or if you're a mouth breather like me, they're perfect. So I gotta put that on Stacey's hamper. But these are also good too, because I do it like this. And I look like Stacy Who or or Who the Who Bill. Or I put it like here or wherever I need pressure. Wherever I need pressure. I could put pre I could put it anywhere. Wherever you need pressure, like little pressure points. But it's 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 not invasive. It doesn't hurt your skin. And I go through them because I I I, I do the clamp so much that the clamps fall off or I lose it. 
fall like it in bed. Sometimes I find them when my cat gets. So I bought like a thing of ten. So I'll try to remember to put that on Stacy's hamper. But the first thing I'm doing is gonna sleep rights, not breathe rights, sleep rights. Amazing. But anyway, so I bought that. That's one of the things. And you know how I love my salads, and I chop, chop, chop. And whenever you chop things, things go flying, and then you gotta like sweep the floor. You know how it is when you're chopping things. It goes everywhere, and then you gotta clean it. You're like, oh, and then plus it's like you can't get it fine enough. You're doing a lot of work. So I had some vegetable chopper, but it wasn't this good. So I haven't used this yet. I just got it. The vegetable chopper. And I don't know if I could open it up. I mean, I, I mean, it's probably it's still sealed. But this is basic the gist of it. See that? And it comes with blades and stuff. So if you have one of these, let me know. Like, see, is it upside down? It's upside down. Yeah, it's upside down. And so I'm hoping I got the right one. There's so many of them. I don't know what to get. But uh, is this the vegetable chopper? So I can't wait to use that because that'll make my life so much easier. Because even when we're making a sandwich, you know, when you eat a sandwich, even though I'm vegan, but you got the vegan meat or whatever, and you pull it, you got the whole thing. I don't like to make chopped sandwiches. That's why every little bite. I had a boyfriend once told so you like to chop up everything and, and put a little. Yeah, it's because I want every flavor to be in every bite. And when you don't chop things up finely and put it all together, then it, it misses it. So I like to finally chop everything. And, and so I can't wait to do that. Okay. This is a lot smaller than my grandparents, but they had a big Pyrex. I think this is the right name, glass measuring cup. And I have never owned one. I have I have this plastic one I got from Avon a long time ago. By the way, I'm an Avon lady, so on stacyshamper.com, you'll see my Avon uh, link. So please buy Avon for me. I'm your Avon lady. Hey! Uh, this is another thing. I don't make that much money off of it because I, when I signed up, I accidentally, instead of when they give whatever little... I guess they sold the company. I'm learning about it. Uh, new people are owning it. So we really get paid very more smaller than what we used to do 20 years ago. Plus, I signed up for a credit card, a prepaid credit card, because I thought that'd be better than going through my bank. But then they they charge a fee outside of like paying me minimal. So I make very little. But so what? Still, I'm your Avon lady. Please. Let me be your Avon lady. It just is what it is. I'll try to figure out how to get away from the credit card and go back to putting the money in my bank. But I'm an idiot. But um, I haven't been used. I don't. I don't have a real measuring cup. I have this plastic thing that's not really that good. I kind of wanted the bigger one, but this is okay. I just got a small measuring cup. I know it's very simple and basic. But I didn't have one of these. And this is going to be so much more easier than that plastic thing I have. It wasn't good. And then, I don't know what happened to all my, ve my vegetable peelers. I used to have so many of them. I don't know if my old roommate took them. I don't know what happened to them. So I bought a stack of three. I got them from Amazon. And they have different blades. And they come apart. So it's like, or I can just do it as one. But I got vegetable peelers, because you know me and my vegetables. And one of the things you keep forgetting about are these brushes for dishes. But these are a lot bigger. When I ordered them, I'm like, wow. When, first, I thought they were just normal dish brushes. But these are massive. I'm used to the smaller ones, so I don't know. These are massive. Like they're big, like they're like look, they're they're big. So I don't know how good these are gonna be. I wanted more smaller ones to do dishes with, to you know to get inside of nooks and crannies of certain pots and pans or or bowls or or um, glassware or whatever. So I don't know, 
but I got more of these. I don't really go, I don't go out shopping. I don't have time. I, I just don't. I just get home too late. Oh, and then um, I love those little Tupperware, little plastic, little containers, but I couldn't find them. So I got these little, um, even though they're for like dressing, you know, when you go to a restaurant and they give you a side of dressing, these are lids and these are um, little cups. But I'm going to reuse them. They're, they're a lot. But um, like sometimes I take my vitamins to work and I just need like a little container or I need a container of dressing or whatever. Or like a little bit of nuts and bolts. Sometimes I have little, when I take apart certain electronics, you know, me a gadget girl. And I have like little pieces. Or when you have a cell phone and you have the little um, adapter to adapt different cell phones and they're this little, like any tiny little gadget and you need to put it in something so you don't lose it. And Ziploc bags are not it. These, these are my little gadget holders for like little nuts and bolts and screws or, um, or my vitamins or my breathe rights. Sometimes I put my breathe right next to my bed and I have a little container. So now, and I'll reuse them. I'm not going to throw them away. So I got a big bunch of plastic. Or if I want to take dressing to work, I got it. So I got a bunch of those. Random, I know, but that's what I do. Um, another thing, I have lemon pepper, but it always cakes up. You know me and my spices. And I'm over it because I've been using lemon juice, but sometimes you don't want to use lemon juice because it makes things soggy. I like lemon pepper. And sometimes going to the store, there's certain things I can't find. Like I went to Ralph's, the big Ralph's, and they didn't have mint, so I had to order that through Amazon. I didn't show you, but I had to buy a packet, a big bulk thing of mint. Because me and my spices, it's all about the condiments, I've always said. Cooking and eating on a budget, it's all about the condiments. You can make anything taste really good. You just got to have the right ingredients, like condiments. And lemon pepper is one of them. And so it was cheaper to buy this one. I don't know. This is this is what I got. I forget how much it was, but it's through Amazon. And um, it's lemon pepper seasoning. Very simple, but I use it a lot. And I got tired of my little lemon pepper seasoning that, that I I keep it by the oven. And then it, you know, if you, if you deal with spices, you know how it works. It gets all clumpy, clumpy, you know, from the moisture in the air. Because I live at the beach or if there's heat. So I'm going to keep this away from the flame. I'm going to try it. So I finally got, I'm tired of being out of lemon pepper. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to be out anymore. So I got lemon pepper, lemon pepper seasoning. Now, there's these dresses. It's been on my wish list, but I went ahead and got some. I got a few. I want to get so I want to get them in every color. I want to get mini skirts in every color, but they're the dresses were cheaper than mini skirts. Go figure. So I figured out I'll you know if I have to fold them down and wear my skirts, I will, because I like, I want assorted colors. These were under $10 each. If you go to my wish list, just go to stacyshamper.com and I have a wish list and you'll see these dresses. They're $7.99, but then whatever, but they're under $10 each and they come in different colors and there's different assortments. Like this is the Razorback. And this is gray. And this is a razorback mini dress. And I, I, I really like it. It's like, oh, I don't know. It's it's in the package, but it's like it's a mini, it's a mini dress. Um, I don't know. But just look on look on look on my wish list. Go to stacyshamper.com and and you'll see I'll have a little box this the wish list, and you'll see it. Okay, got a red. Let's see. I got a red dress and it's just a basic uh, tank dress. Yes, basic this is a tank dress, red. Um, I got a lot of tank dresses basically, these tank dresses. 
because then I could put a sweater or whatever. I got it in yellow. Favorite color. And I got it in white. And I think I got a purple one last week, but um, I need to show you, but I got some white. And basically, there's this tank style mini dress. And you can put a blazer on it and make it like a business suit. Uh, you could wear it as a uh, cover up for the beach. Uh, you could wear it going to bed as a slip, or you could even wear it as a slip. You could have so many, many uses of it. Or you could fold it down and wear it as a mini skirt, which is probably what I'm going to do. Um, but you know what? I got tired because I used to have mini dresses. And then after a while, you know, they start to dissipate and fade or you don't know what happens to them. And for photo shoots, being a fetish model, these are really good because you could, because being a fetish model, usually it always has business attire but sexy business attire which basically means like a mini dress with a blazer attached to it or, or you know or something like that or like stockings and heels and, and like so these these are just basic stuff that you just need for just every day you know just like yeah so i, I want to get more colors so i got mini dresses because leggings flared leggings Jumpsuits, mini dresses, tank tops, hoodies. I love basic wear because you can just mix and match and add things to it. I love it. And that's what we live in. And that's what I like. And these, these um, sweatpants I've had for so long. I wore them on the girls' night store. I wore them at the Playboy Mess. No. Okay. The, the next thing is something I should have gotten a long time ago. I don't know why it took me so long. My grandmother had one. I worked in restaurants that had them. It's good for your health. You don't have to wa wash them with soap and water. Um, they last forever. They're very frugal, um, reasonable price. They're durable. And they're actually healthy for you to cook with them. Cast iron skillets. Okay, they're heavy, so <sighs> And I got a set of four, and I don't know, they're under $30. I got, you know, I'm the cheapy cheapy. I didn't want to get one, but I got a set of four cast iron skillets. And I don't know why it took me so long, because it's like, I knew they're good for you. Because they do give a little bit of iron in your food. And now being a vegan, you know, I need a little bit. And they're pre-seasoned. And I got them from Amazon. You can just look up, you know, go on Stacey's Hamper. Or just Google, like, cast iron skillets. And get a set of four. Now, they don't come with lids. I didn't get the ones with lids. But I have lids. Because I have the non-stick skillets. But you know how that works. Like, they got little, they're all, like, damaged from, like, like the scraping and um and they're not really that healthy and it's like I don't know I don't know they're okay don't get me wrong but uh yeah some of them are really damaged I only have a couple that are okay but these last forever and I don't know maybe they, maybe they're not non-stick maybe things will stick but that's what oil's for um so I'm gonna get a lot of iron in my diet. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited to cook with my cast iron skillet because I'm a tortilla girl. I remember my grandmother would always warm up tortilla and her cast iron had a flat, flat one. Excuse me. But um, but, but I could do it in this. And so I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to put these, but I'm going to start cooking in these more often, a lot. I think I'm going to do it a lot. And forget about the non-stick pans. I'm going to go all cast iron skillets. And, um, yeah. Because now I've been cooking more at home. Even though I'm busy. Like, even it's on the fly. Um, and it's like nothing special. I'm not a gourmet cook. I'm nothing like that. I just cook at home. And I experiment. And if it's not good, it's not good. I'll eat it anyway, but it's not good. 
I just throw a bunch of stuff in a pan and you know, it's all about the condiments. I always say that. But this is my Amazon haul at this moment. I'll dig out the stuff. There is some things I got that I kind of want to show you. Um, let's see, I just don't go out of stores anymore. It's like, I, I miss it. Don't get me wrong, I miss it. But at the same time, you get impulse buys and you buy things you probably shouldn't get. Oh, by the way, the Crocs, if you saw me, Doing my grocery haul, the Crocs actually work out. They, they actually do kind of fit. They're a little bit big, but I mean, I, I'm I'm wearing them. They're, they're actually kind of cool. So, I can't wait for these cast iron skillets. I'm kind of really excited, and I'm really weirded out. It took me so long because I grew up with cast iron skillets, and what you know, like has there been things like. You're like, why did I have to do this earlier? I know about this. Like, I I knew about this. And I knew they were inexpensive. Like, what the hell was I thinking? Oh, my God. Oh, and they come with these little things so you don't burn your hand. These little, these little holders. Oh, my God. I'm so excited for my cast iron skillet. Like, this is the most exciting thing ever for me. Oh my god. Are you gonna come out? Oh you yes, darling, and they're pre-treated. Oh my god. And if you ever date me and you've been cheating, oh this will hurt. Bang! Oh my god. Yeah, don't mess with me now. They they also double as a uh, home security. <laughs> So yeah, I recommend the cast iron skillet, ladies, for many reasons. Oh my God, I'm so okay. Well, I gotta go because like uh, it's getting late, and um, uh, there's other things I gotta do. I gotta update my site, so check all my sites. Patreon.com. I'm adding so much stuff to that. Just go to StacyBurke.com. All the links are there. But Patreon, OnlyFans, YouTube, obviously, which you're watching now. Um, and everything, so, um, and of course, cameo. I gotta, I gotta do a cameo in the morning. Uh, happy birthday, Jeff, by the way. Happy birthday, Jeff. My number one customer. Okay, I gotta figure out how to put this back. Okay. That's why I don't like open up the boxes, because, you know me, like, when I get things, everything stays in the box for a while, and I have, like, a little shrine. And I don't put it away for a couple days. I just kind of like to look at everything that's brand new in the box for a while. I don't know. Does anyone else do that? Like, when I get stuff, whatever I get, it's just in a pile for a while. And then when I have time, little by little, I'll put it, I'll find a location for it. Or like a little shrine. Because I just like to look at it. And like, ooh, I just get all excited. I right, will open it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let you go. I'm very appealing, by the way. Have I told you I'm very appealing? Yeah, I'm kind of abrasive as well. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> could be a new facial. Yeah, I'm still peeling, but um, I am appealing. But uh, that oil I got from Palmer's, just go to uh, StacySamper.com, is working wonders. I love it. Oh, I can measure my booze now. I'm going to have to have a heavy hand. All right, to all my Stace Cadets and all my Burkettes, I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time, peace.